you for his statement. The distinguished representative of the Syrian Arab Republic has asked for the floor to make a further statement. You have the floor, sir. I thank you, Mr. President. I apologize for once again requesting the floor, but I will be brief this time. Mr. President, in my statement, I have pointed out the political flaws of the small group and its construction. However, I would like now to point out that there is a moral flaw in this body. Namely, it is the presence of the Saudi regime that is backwards in terms of civilization and in terms of mentality. Here, I would like to shed light on some points that were mentioned in the statement of the Saudi ambassador. First, in his statement, he called for drafting a new constitution for my country. And there's an Arab saying that says that uh, if you are ridden with flaws, then you must hide your flaws. You know that Saudi Arabia has no constitution and has no parliament. It doesn't even have a name for the country. The name of the country is belongs to the ruling family. So when you say the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, it's as if you're saying the Republic of, the, uh, of Macron in France, or the Kingdom of Theresa May of Britain, or the United States of Trump. This is, this is the equivalence of the name. The country doesn't even have a name. Second, a regime that kidnaps and holds the head of another state. It imprisons its own princes and businessmen until they pay ransom. Is a regime that is not worthy of respect. A regime that hides one of its opponents. Who was primarily a member of the Saudi intelligence and he worked for long years in Washington and he was the right hand of the current Saudi, uh, Saudi foreign minister. Anyway, a regime that would kidnap a Saudi opponent. His name is Khashoggi. I'm sure nobody's heard of him. I'm sure that you haven't heard this name before. Holds this man at its consulate in Istanbul. And nobody knows what has become of this man. This is a regime that cannot speak of legality and of the pain of others because the stench of uh, these actions surrounds this regime. Third, the Saudi ambassador spoke of a will to help the Syrian people, his country's will, ignoring the fact that the Saudi regime is the regime that is primarily responsible for spreading the takfiri terrorist trend, the Wahhabi takfiri terrorist trend in Afghanistan, and in Iraq, and in Syria, and in Lebanon, and in Jordan, and in Egypt, and Libya, and Nigeria, and Southeastern Asia. Fourth, a regime that sheds blood in Yemen, and that creates alliances with Israel to bury the Palestinian cause, and which pays to buy the conscience of those who defend it, is not a regime that is worthy of the Security Council allowing it to speak before it in the context of humanitarian and political issues pertaining to other countries here in this Council. The list goes on, but I will stop at this point, Mr. President. Thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of Syria for